This is our um, animal yard on the other side of this fence. But how big is it? So uh, we have 500 square feet dedicated to the animals and that's, um, I have two goats that live here year round and they need um, 200 square feet each. And we have anywhere from six to 12 chickens at any given time. And so we have about 100 square feet for those. And then the rabbits are above ground, so I don't include their square footage um, with the other animals. These are my goats and my daughters named them. So this is Aurora and this is Snow White. I bought um, our, my two does when they are about the same size as these little ones at eight weeks old and um, they aren't ready to breed until they are closer to one year. So we kept them as pets for that first year. And then we um, had to go find a buck to come for a visit. And uh, that first year, only one of my goats ended up pregnant. The other one did not. Um, then they have a five month gestation before they have the babies. And you can either let the does raise the babies or you can bottle feed them. Because we have smaller space, I've chosen to let the does raise the babies. Um, that does mean we get less milk. Uh, it's also nice though because you can milk just once a day. Whereas if you're bottle feeding, you have to be very religious about milking, which I'm not. The, the boys are um, being raised as pets and our first year we were able to place both boy goats um, as companion animals in a farm with other animals and that's my plan um, for these boys. Uh, we're going to hold on to them until we find the right home but Portland um, has a lot of city goats that need companion animals um, and there aren't a lot of breeders so there's a pretty good chance that they'll find a really good home. The girl babies are also going to be raised to be milkers they are not pedigreed, but they are purebred and they come from good milking lines. So they'll be ideal for someone in a similar position who's not interested in showing or breeding for profit, but rather looking for a good producer for their family. We'll be rehoming all four babies. Um, we just don't have the space, I feel, for us to keep more animals long term. I would say if you are interested in um, producing your own food, to, to start small, get a potted plant on your balcony, add a few chickens in the back corner, and do a lot of reading, um, and then start incorporating other elements. Um, move from a potted plant to a raised bed, from a raised bed to a permaculture orchard, from a few chickens, add in a few rabbits. If you really do a lot of reading and planning before you add an element in, you should be able to be very well prepared and know what you're getting into.